People living in an apartment building woke up to alarms going off from an early morning fire that caused thousands of dollars worth of damage. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Lisa Badeau. The fire happened just before 2 a.m. at the Park East Apartments near the downtown Fargo Dam. Firefighters first put out a car fire in a garage attached to the building, then cleared smoke from the hallways of the actual apartment building. Damage is estimated at $30,000 for the burned car and $10,000 for damage to the garage. One person was found on the scene with soot stains on his face, but he refused medical treatment. Investigators are still trying to pinpoint the cause of the car fire. West Fargo police are looking for a woman who abandoned a dog. It happened January 10th in the 2000 block of 5th Avenue East. Witnesses say a car stopped on the road, let the dog out, and immediately drove off. A nearby home security system caught the incident on video. That's what you're seeing right now on your TV screen. Police have released it to the public in hopes of helping track down the suspect. She's described as a heavy set woman, about 5'3", with dark hair. The vehicle is described as a light-colored Volkswagen station wagon or Ford Freestyle station wagon. The crime is a Class A misdemeanor. The dog, a pit bull mix, was taken to the West Fargo Animal Hospital, then transferred to the Homeward Animal Shelter and eventually adopted out. Call West Fargo Police. If you have any information on who abandoned this dog, that number is on your screen, 433-5500. We're enjoying a pretty nice afternoon and slowly we're warming up. Let's check in with meteorologist Robert Hahn to see, you know, when we'll actually feel it. I've been listening to you and your forecasts and uh, we're warming up, but it doesn't really feel like it yet. It's getting there. I mean, we're in the teens and 20s across the region now and winds continue to slowly subside. The uh, combination of rising temperatures this afternoon and subsiding winds are going to make it feel pretty decent by later on this afternoon and into this evening. 16 in Bedette and Thief River Falls. Some folks up in northern Minnesota stayed below zero for the entire day yesterday. Now well above zero and will continue to stay, looks like, above zero for quite some time. 27 already in Grand Forks, 24 in Jamestown, 19 here in Fargo. You do factor in those winds and look at that. All of our wind chills above zero. Eight in Bemidji, 17 Grand Forks, four here in Fargo, three in Orozo, on the radar, not a whole lot showing up right now. That will change later on tonight. The chance for a little bit of light snow skirting across the northern half of the valley. Next couple of days. Today, getting into the uh, mid-20s. Tomorrow, around 30 with a chance for another round of some light snow. And we'll have more snow chances on that seven-day forecast. But continued mild weather. We'll have all your forecast details coming up in just a few minutes. Thank you, Robert. Mm -hmm. New at noon, a man is in serious condition after a crash in Douglas County. It happened at the intersection of Highway 27 and Douglas County Road 15 in Minnesota around 7 this morning. A pickup heading west was stopped and waiting to turn when a car came up and hit the pickup from behind. The car then veered into the eastbound lane colliding head-on with an oncoming car. The drivers of the pickup and car both escaped with non-life-threatening injuries, but the driver of the oncoming vehicle was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. His condition is not known at this time. A data breach at a major health insurance company may have put millions of Americans' personal information at risk. It happened when hackers stole personal information from Anthem Incorporated, one of the largest health insurers in the country. Anthem says it fell victim to a very sophisticated cyber attack. Customers whose information was compromised will be notified by Anthem in the coming weeks. We're going to get more information early next week in the murder case of an NDSU student. Moorhead police say the final autopsy report on Tom Beerson is back from the Ramsey County Medical Examiner's Office. Police have scheduled a Monday afternoon news conference already to talk about the results. Valley News Live, of course, you can count on us. We will be there to bring you all of the new information. And if you're looking for more background information and to hear from Tom Beerson's family who talked publicly for the first time this week, you can find that on our website. Just head to valleynewslive.com. Brian Fitch Sr. has been officially sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole in the death of Mendota Heights, Minnesota police officer Scott Patrick. The judge also sentenced Fitch to three consecutive 216-month sentences for attempted murder for firing on police officers in the shootout that led to Fitch's arrest. The shooting happened last July, just after Officer Patrick pulled over Fitch for a routine traffic stop. Fitch's girlfriend testified that he had vowed to kill any cop who pulled him over because he didn't want to go back to prison. 
Some North Dakota bars could soon become family friendly. The North Dakota legislature is looking at a bill to allow anyone under the age of 21 to be in a bar or restaurant serving alcohol. The bill would allow any underage person to enter and stay in an establishment at the owner's discretion if that person is accompanied by a guardian over the age of 21. Other provisions include the underage person must also be there to eat a meal and must leave by 9 p.m. The idea behind the law isn't to just solely allow minors to be able to enter that bar. It's really, you know, it's the family, it's the mom and dad and, and two children that want to go out for a uh, dinner in their community and their community may only happen to have one establishment where they can eat out at that also happens to be a bar. Senator Casper says the bill was drafted more for rural communities since smaller towns have fewer options and have businesses that serve both food and alcohol. Some North Dakota lawmakers also want to help people with college debt. The average college student has $30,000 in student loans. A health bill would allow people who graduate from college and are North Dakota residents with a full-time job to refinance their loans with a zero interest rate at the Bank of North Dakota. The bill faces stiff opposition from the Bank of North Dakota, which says the idea would impact their administrative costs. They also say the legislature has already tied up half of the bank's profit for other projects in the biennium. The House votes on the bill tomorrow.